Good morning, Mary here. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to show you. I, I got the water bottles in for the retreat. My first retreat is February 21st through the 26th. There's still an opening if you'd like to join us. Um, just give me an email, thelighthousemedium at gmail.com, or you can go to my website. There's some information on it there, uh, thelighthousemedium.com. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read on the government shutdown just because I'm wondering, <clears throat> excuse me, how long this is going to go on for. I'm just curious. So, Spirit, what can you tell me? Will the government shutdown end soon? What can you tell me about the government shutdown? Please show us. Thank you so much. All right. Well, we have the Knight of Cups. Knight energy is usually someone coming in to save the day. And um, cup energy is emotion. So I think in my last reading, I said something about emotions. I'm not sure. But anyway, so this could be someone coming in um, to save the day, somehow related to emotion. I'm gonna draw some other cards because it's hard to tell just from one card. Um, this just fell out of the deck. It's the two of pentacles. So I feel like this is the two sides. No one's really given in giving in no one's um, Nancy Pelosi is standing firm it's not just Nancy Pelosi I mean she, there's a lot of other people there too but she's the head of the uh, majority um, but I feel like each side is standing pretty firm Donald Trump's firm he wants his wall and she's firm he's not going to get the wall so there we have it so what else can you tell me? Will this end soon? What's going to happen to end this government shutdown spirit? Please show me. Please show me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands is all about perseverance. It's like we made it this far. We have one more wand to go. We just got to hang in there and persevere. So that could be a message to the American people to hang in there. This will end eventually and to persevere it could be a message that each side is um, hanging on and um, wants to persevere in their particular um, outcome okay what else can you show us spirit about the government shutdown is there anything else we need to know please show us the government shutdown and soon. Hmm. We have the Five of Swords. This is a battle, you guys. It's a battle to the end. And both sides don't care who's left on the battlefield. And in my feeling is who's left on the battlefield are the government workers who are working and not being paid or who can't work and are not being paid. Families. American families are left on the battlefield. Okay. But it will be over soon, right? <laughs> Please show us. Please show us, Spirit. Please show us. Will this government shutdown be over soon? Will it be over soon? What can you tell us about the shutdown? Well, we have the Knight of Swords. So, the Knight of Swords, um, I feel like this is the night coming in to save the day with truth and clarity and it will um, eventually be over. They will come to a settlement. Um, last card, please, Spirit. Just show us, please. Oh, gosh. And then I got the hangman, which is stuck. Yikes. Stuck feeling stuck. It could also be that this knight's coming in with an opportunity. Knights are also opportunities. So it's a knight coming in, opportunity, showing clarity, showing the truth, showing the way. And then we get the hangman, which can be about being stuck, but it can also be about seeing things from a different perspective. So it could be that one side or the other sees things from a different perspective 
and they're able to negotiate. Let me just, <laughs> I got to do one more card. One more card, Spirit. Please show us the outcome of, please show us the outcome of the government shutdown. Please show us the outcome. Please show us the outcome of the government shutdown, Spirit. Please show us the outcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. E. Okay, we got the death card. <laughs> oh my God, I'm like the psychic with terrible news. Okay, the death card is not death. It's just change and transition. It's always been my feeling that this whole Trump thing, um, you know, Trump is really not our president. He didn't win. He won fraudulently, therefore he is not really president. Ever since he got into office fraudulently, I have always thought that um, this is a way for the universe to take down the government and rebuild it much better. It wasn't working. It was full of corruption. I hate to say it. Um, Democrats are corrupt too. All poli I shouldn't say that. Not all politicians are corrupt. I have faith in the new politicians that have come in. But I could say that politicians from the old paradigm, there was a lot of corruption. That's just the way it is. It was. <laughs> I think that, um, you know, when you see death, it's kind of scary. But this is actually a positive card because it means change and transition. And I know that that's what's happening with the government. It was not working. And sometimes we have to see things just come down really hard in order to be rebuilt. Nancy Pelosi is now the speaker. The new Congress people have come in. Uh, lots of women have come in and people from different ethnic groups that have come in that have never been there before. I feel like that's a really bright future for us. So I'm going to say that it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a long fight, but there will be, um, there will be, I feel like there's going to be um, some clarity, a change in perspective, um, and huge, huge changes in the government. That's what I see. So <laughs> probably not the answer you wanted, and I apologize for that. Okay. Let's see. 7.32. I just want to do a quick reading on Paul Whalen to see if he really is a spy. There's a question out there. Is he really a spy, or did Russia just arrest any old American? So that they could exchange him for Maria Butina, therefore um, um, the secrets wouldn't come out that Donald Trump is so afraid of coming out. Okay, so let's just see. Is Don, what is his name? Paul Whalen? Is Paul Whalen really a spy? Spirit, just show us. Is Paul Whalen really a spy? Is he really? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. Let me just double check. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is, is the um, left out in the cold card. Um, it's like she's right outside of a church where there's warmth and comfort, but she doesn't, she doesn't even see that. She's just here out in the cold, left out. I feel like that's Paul Whalen right now. I mean, he's in jail. He's been arrested for... Um, I guess espionage or you know being a spy. What else can you tell us about Paul Whalen spirit? What else can you tell us? Please show me Paul Whalen. Paul Whalen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Well, we have the Three of Cups, which is all about celebrating, celebrating with friends and family. Good news. So it could be that. He is going to be released from prison in Russia, but we don't know. That doesn't really tell us if he's a spy or not. Is Paul Whalen a spy for the United States? Spirit, please show me. Is Paul Whalen a spy for the United States? The chariot. Hmm. One more card. I just need to look at all the cards as a whole. 
Wow, this high priestess comes up constantly. Okay. Um, well, from the cards, I feel like this is Paul Whalen in jail out in the cold. Someone celebrating. I don't know who. Could be the Russians. You know, we got somebody and now we can exchange him for Maria Butina. They could be celebrating the arrest, you know, that um, they could be celebrating that Trump hasn't done much about getting him back. I'm not really sure what they're doing. Seems kind of quiet, right? Um, but we have the chariot, so this is going forward. So I feel like um, that could be Trump going forward. That could be Russia going forward with the investigation. That could be Russia going forward with their plans. And then we have the High Priestess. Who is the High Priestess? Hmm. I'm going to do a clarify. High Priestess energy is usually very experienced. Lots of wisdom. Connected to the divine. Uses her intuition. Her gut feeling. Um, really connected to the divine. So... Uh, I'm going to clarify, who is this High Priestess? Who is this High Priestess? Who is this? Six of Cups. That's about um, nostalgia. The Six of Cups is nostalgic energy, looking back into the past. It's children. You can see from the picture. It's children playing here. So, someone's feeling nostalgic, someone's feeling nostalgic. Oh, uh, I just got the words Mother Russia, so, huh. I was looking at the High Priestess and I was like, who is this? And I got the words Mother Russia. Yee. All right. Out in the cold, Russia celebrating, moving forward, Mother Russia, and nostalgia. Hmm. One more card. Is he a spy? Paul Whalen, is he a spy? I am not getting an answer. Is Paul Whalen a spy spirit? Page of Swords. Pages of Swords, it's the spy card. I mean, pages are messengers. Sword energy is truth, clarification. I feel like this card is known as the spy card. I, I specifically asked if he was a spy, so I have to go with that. Um, I'm going to say he is a spy. And it's funny because I really thought he wasn't. <laughs> um, but now I'm wondering if this dishonorable discharge from the Marines was like a cover for him. If he is a spy and he was in deep cover, um, you would think that our administration would do more to get him out of there, but I, I'm not sure. So I'm going to say that he is a spy, but we've left him out in the cold. Russia is celebrating. They're moving forward with this. I think they're moving forward to... Um, Either it, this could be also be Maria Butina that they're moving forward trying to make an exchange. I'm not sure. And then nostalgia is here. This could mean a couple things. It could mean Paul Whelan is nostalgic for the old days when he wasn't a spy. It could be Maria Butina. Um, I, I'm not sure. But when I asked specifically, I got the spy card. So that's what I have to go with. Okay, now, quickly, um, I cleanse this deck, and I just want to ask quickly, um, well, I can do it on another video. Let's do a quick energy reading for the day. This is um, Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle. I just like to end off the readings with a nice energy reading. Spirit, what do we need to know today? Today is January 4th, 2019. What do we need to know today? What 
be helpful. Thank you so much. I really angels, I thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Time to go. So, some of you out there are in relationships, jobs, situations where you are not being served anymore. So, this card is all about leaving or letting go of situations that no longer serve you. It's number 45. 4 plus 5 adds up to 9. That's all about ending one chapter of your life. That chapter is complete. This way you can move on to the new chapter. I'll pull one more card. New life. So you need to walk away from something in order to get to this new life. Okay? It's also uh, number, th oops, this is number 39. So 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So if you add up 39, it adds up to 12. If you add 1 plus 2, it adds up to 3. And that's all about expansion. Expanding on a soul level. Expansion. New life. What a wonderful way to end the reading for today. Okay, I hope that you guys have a great day today. Today is, what day is it, Friday? Um, have a great weekend. <laughs> I never know what day it is. <laughs> um, have a great, a great weekend, and um, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.